please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Introduction to Chrome OS Flex. I'm Huey Poplock. Last week, Google announced Chrome OS Flex. It is similar to Neverware's Cloud Ready. Google acquired Neverware over a year ago in December of 2020. Chrome OS has become popular thanks in part to its simplicity, the backing of a large and well-resourced company, and its easy-to-use management tools for schools and businesses. With Flex, Google is offering those organizations the opportunity to switch their Windows laptop fleets to Chrome OS fleets virtually overnight, while also giving users of aging PCs an alternative OS to try. Chrome OS Flex, like Cloud Ready, can be quickly installed on a USB drive with 8 gigabytes of space or more, and can even run from there if you choose. Just like Cloud Ready, Chrome OS Flex can be fully installed on the device of your choosing with a single button on the lock screen. Like Cloud Ready, you can write the OS image to your USB drive with any device that runs Chrome, and it is free to use on individual devices as long as you wish. There are some notable differences and upgrades between Flex and Cloud Ready. The official Chrome browser, colors, and logo are now in Flex. Update cycle. Updates match Chrome OS release cycles. Google Assistant. Google Assistant is supported, same as on the Chrome OS. Geolocation. Geolocation accuracy, settings, and policies now match Chrome. Family Link Accounts. Managed Family Link Accounts can be created and used. Connected Devices. Settings and integrations for connected devices like Smart Lock instant tethering, and much more now work in Flex. Nearby sharing. Files and web pages can be shared with nearby devices. Remote desktop from the admin console. Remote control of managed devices is possible from the admin console. And licensing, unlike the education and enterprise editions of Cloud Ready, Chrome OS Flex will not carry any standalone license cost. In other words, it's free. Serial numbers like Chromebooks, the new Chrome OS Flex installs will use a device's serial number as its primary unique identifier if one is available and valid. Now, the differences between Flex and the Chrome OS. While the Chrome OS is exclusively available for Chromebooks, the Chrome OS Flex can be downloaded and installed on any computer with Windows or Mac OS. The Chrome OS devices contain a Google security chip that helps to protect the system, but the Chrome OS Flex devices do not, as the OS is downloadable on third-party systems. Chrome OS devices directly manage their updates, while the Chrome OS Flex updates are provided by original equipment manufacturers. One of the biggest differences and downside to the Chrome OS Flex is that it does not, it does not support Android applications or Google Play. Since Chrome OS Flex is installed on devices that do not have a similar layout as those of the Chrome OS devices, some shortcuts might not work while using Chrome OS Flex. Yet another disadvantage of the Chrome OS Flex is that it does not support fingerprint readers, face recognition cameras, stylus and other pen-related inputs, and CD DVD drives. There are certified models lists and it includes many of the brands of computers that you may come in contact with and the model status could be verified to work minor issues expected and major issues expected. 
Now on mine, I have a HP stream, which is not included in the list of streams here. So therefore mine does not fall into any category of verification. But you can see that different models do have different designations. You create the USB installer. You create a boot device using the USB installer. You start using the Chrome OS Flex, set up and enroll Chrome OS Flex devices and get help with the Chrome OS Flex. And here are some links, which I will put in the description on YouTube. Get the Chrome recovery utility from the Chrome Web Store. Go to the Chrome Web Store and you can do this on your PC. You install the Chromebook recovery utility from the Chrome Web Store as an extension to Chrome. You'll notice here it says remove from Chrome because I've already got it installed. And yours, it will say install. You do have to make sure you turn it on. So you do have to go into the settings, find the Chromebook recovery utility, and make sure you turn it on. Now your various steps, you identify your Chromebook. Now it says select a manufacturer. You have to be careful here that when you do that, what you're going to want to find is the Google Chrome OS Flex, not your brand of computer. You want the Google Chrome OS Flex. The next step is to insert your USB flash drive or SD card and identify it and then tell it to continue. When you tell it to continue, it's ready to create a recovery image. Note, important, all data and partitions on your recovery media will be deleted. Then you click Create Now and it creates your image. You're now ready to run or install Flex. Once you do, you will see that you will get the Chrome version is 100, which is ahead of version 98, which is what you will have on your Chromebook. So you have your USB stick and you plug it into your USB slot on your computer. You have to be able to boot from your USB drive. So in order to do that, each manufacturer has its own boot key. And as soon as you turn it on, you start hitting that key. On mine, it was F9. As I did it, it came up. And this is what I got with the boot manager. It showed three devices. What I chose was the USB drive. When I clicked on that, it started my Chrome OS Flex. And you'll notice down on the bottom left, it's the fourth button over is install cloud ready. So you can run it from the USB stick or once you have run it and tested it, you can then install the cloud ready because this is a test version. It still says cloud ready, but you can install your Chrome OS Flex. When you run it from your USB stick, this is what it will look like when you click on the launcher and you can just run it. You will notice that my USB stick has got a little light on it and which is flickering the whole time showing that it is running from that USB stick. Once I installed it on my computer, when I started the computer, instead of running from the USB stick, it started from the hard drive and started Chrome and gave me the typical login screen or lock screen of a Chromebook. And you'll notice that that install is not present because it is already installed. I sign into my account and I'm ready to go. You'll notice up at the top right hand corner on that lock screen, it tells you what version you are running. And again, it does not have the install on the bottom because it's already installed. Okay, let's do the demo. I'm using my HP Stream 11 inch laptop that I bought for testing Windows 11. I've installed the Chrome OS Flex on it. It has 32 gigabytes of storage. It has four gigabytes of RAM. Not a very powerful unit. It does not have a touch screen. It does have a trackpad, but I am using a mouse plugged in to a USB port and it is wireless. 
and I have plugged into the speaker jack a headset that has a microphone and headphone. And that's all I'm using with this unit. As I say, I'm using a mouse, so it's, it makes it a little easier for me to maneuver. And let's take a look at some of the new features of the Flex from Google. As you'll see, the launcher launches a new view of the launch pad. I was under the impression from one of the articles I read prior to me getting the Flex that this automatically was in the version that I could download and install. What happened was it was the old launcher and I had to go in and set a flag. I won't go into how to do that. Uh, there are articles on how to do it, but it was very simple, very easy, and I turned it on. So now at the top, we have a search uh, box at the top. You can have some of the latest documents or items that you pl were working with. Then the latest items that you opened. And then below it is the are all of the apps that are loaded on this Chrome OS Flex machine. Let's start looking at Chrome, the browser. As soon as I opened it up, because I am logged into my account, everything was there when I installed the Flex and logged into my account. So it looks just like my Chromebook. It looks just like my Windows machine. It has all of the uh, quick access uh, on here. It has my all of my bookmarks. And let's take a look at a bookmark. Let's go to Bob's blog to show you that it's working. I can go down here. Here's an article about Tech for Seniors, episode 100. If I click on Read More, I get the entire article. And I can use the Evernote. And I can capture the article, either the whole article or a simplified article, just like I do on my PC or like I do on my Chromebook. I'm not going to save it, but just show you that the extensions, most of the extensions work. Now you do have to remember that the programs that you run from the launcher, when you look at them, even though I have on my Chromebook a lot more, the ones that aren't showing up here, are the Android apps because if you'll notice there is a the web store but there is no Google Play Store and so you can't run any of the Android apps there are enough apps installed by default plus what you have online to certainly use this as a computer without any problems let's take a look at a few of these I can open up my Microsoft Office because I have a 365 account, but even if I didn't, I could have Office there. It goes out to the web. It is signed into my account already. Uh, I might have to, or you might have to sign into your account if you're not there by default, but I have, so I can open up Word. I can open up Excel or a PowerPoint. I can see what's out on my OneDrive, other documents, PowerPoints, and so on that I have recently opened are here in this Google OS Flex. So I can use Office. But if I want to, I can still go out to the launcher and find Google Docs. You see how quick it is. It's real time. I'm not trying to uh, speed these things up, but you can see that my previous articles are there. I can create a blank article. I can do anything with Google Docs that I could on any of the Chrome or Windows computers or even on a Mac. So much for the programs and apps. Now let's take a look at files. What do we have for files? It's right here. When we open it, we have my download folder on my internal drive, which is only 32 gigabytes, and I'm using the operating system on it. I haven't found a way to tell 
how much storage is being used on that drive. But I can go out to my USB drive. I do have a slot for a USB SD card, and I have a mini SD card in here that's 64 gigabytes. And so that's sitting out there. So I can actually go out and I can look at some photos that are sitting there. So there's Peter Norton and me many years ago, Joe Walsh, and here is Danica Patrick, the NASCAR and race car driver, and Bill Gates talking about Office 2000, and Sulu from Star Trek, and myself. Those are some pictures I had stored on that external drive. Now I can also look at my Google Drive. As we look here and go to my Google Drive, here's all of the folders and files that I have on Google Drive. I have a folder that I've done some screen captures and put out on my Google Drive so I can then download them to my Windows machine and put them in the PowerPoint that I showed you earlier. So all of those files are available as well. I do want to show you an app called COG. I've demonstrated this before on learning Chromebooks. I do want to show you what COG shows you. It shows the operating system, which is version 100. It's showing our CPU usage and the temperatures. And as we scroll down, it does tell us how much memory we have. And I think I've mentioned I have four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage built in. And then I have a 64 gigabyte SD card also installed. It does show us an external storage, but only the 64 gigabyte SD card. It does not show the internal drive or the internal storage. I have another app called System, and it also does not tell me when I look at storage it only shows the one drive. It does not show me the internal. So I have not found a way for the Flex to tell me about internal storage, how much I've actually used. I'm still searching for that. There's one other drawback that I have found of the Flex system, and that is when this computer times out and shuts down, I have to actually hit the Start button. There is no way to start it by just clicking enter or to restart it that way. Closing and opening the screen also does not start the computer immediately. I have to use the on off button. This has been my introduction to Chrome OS Flex, turning a PC into a Chromebook using version 100 of Flex. And I'm Huey Poplock. Thanks for joining.